So what is going guys and welcome back and this vlog is the Southampton versus West Ham of the 2019-2020 Premier League season. Hope you guys do enjoy this vlog, it was a very special day and lovely 1-0 win away from home. Um, to be honest with you, I'm going to be totally wrong, I'm not going to lie to you, it is after the game now, I've edited the video and obviously this is the intro. But for me, I did actually think the score was going to be 4-0 to Southampton. I wasn't confident at all um, since there was no manager change and how we were losing games. I genuinely didn't believe that we were going to do well today, but here we are with the three points. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. It was a special one. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's go. Against, against the tide. Walk against, walk against, against the flow. Swim again, swim against, against the tide. Walk against, walk against, against the flow. Hi right, guys, in the stadium now, uh, quite a cold night. I'm going to keep my prediction, I'm still going to say 4-0 Southampton. Until there's a change, I re it's just going to remain like this. Early doors, West Ham and free kick, and Tony got brought down the edge of Southampton's box. Hopefully, they can uh, capitalise on it, but uh, we'll see. This is the fans. Offside, Lionsman's give it up. Oh man, that's disappointing. Oh. That'll be the perfect start that we needed to this game. Oh. every time though and they go ahead and score don't they honestly we've got to capitalize this week this is such an important game all right come on come on come on Not right, right. i think south are trying to get us on the counter attack because everyone's just sitting back oh, that's a good goal. we just need to break we can break this side down we just need that finish oh, really? Really? great tackle frederick's lost the ball there but recovered very nicely i have to admit i thought the south hands player i think it might have been danny ings who was offside there I'm not sure how the line has been missed that. I'm not sure what's going on. I think the ref's going to have to use VAR. That looked like a penalty to me for what? For us. VAR is being used now. Check your penalty. Come on. I think that was Halen 
put that in the net. What a game he's had so far. The game's not over. Get that second goal. Let's get these three points to go on. Come on! Just scored a goal and that could have been 2-0 then to West Ham. So unlucky. How Halle has missed that, I don't know. Oh, I tell you, they're all over the place at the back. Southampton, we've got to take advantage of this. This game, that goal could have killed them off. Come on! Half time 1 0. I am absolutely stunned that we're, we're doing we're playing so well. Um, again, we've had this before though, we've been winning and we just slip it up. And unless we get a second goal, I'm not going to feel confident until that happens. At the moment, I still think Southampton could pull this back. Second half to come up, but uh, I'm just saying, we get a second goal, there's no reason we can't do this. Let's get to it. Just been told as well that the penalty that VAR uh, got it completely wrong, that should have been a pen to us apparently. So people at home watching some TV and message me saying, West Ham has seriously been cheated out of a penalty there. Um, don't know how to feel about that. That is true. I mean, I need to see the highlights myself, but it, that is that is disgraceful. But either way, we should be good enough to put away Southampton, even if it without the pen or not. Let's get to it. Come on, you minds. Second half kicks off. What an amazing save from Southampton's keeper. Four nulls were a brilliant shot down top corner. That was a brilliant save. That should have been 2-0 there. We've got to capitalise on another chance. Come on. chance there, gotta be tighter. That's what I'm saying, this is why we need to score all our chances because this will happen. Oh mate, if they get an E-class, we're so frustrating. 2-0, yeah! Mikel Antonio. Oh my God, finally we've got that goal. This game is ours, come on! Oh my God, what a banger. Antonio. Checking the goal. It... I'm not sure it's a goal now. No goal. Oh, mate. Is that enough? So, we were a penalty not to ours. That should have been. I'm interested to see if that counts. That was right this time. It touched Antonio's hand. Unbelievable, it touched Mikel Antonio's hand for it not to be counted as a goal to West Ham. We are just inviting pressure on, aren't we? 65th minute. Nowhere near the end of this game, and it's been all Southampton since that we've had a disallowed goal. Honestly, I'm not. I'm really not confident. I'm not hopeful. Enjoy it while we are. Enjoy it while we can. Put it that way. Southampton hit the crossbar. Surprised didn't go over the line. And then they had another attempt to hit the side netting. How on earth they didn't equalise was unbelievable. But oh, young legs got the ball now. Either way, though, it's good to have some fresh legs, I think. I can't believe it. That was another good opportunity. Sanchez is coming on for Sebastian Haller. Uh, we just had a really good opportunity missed as well by Yarmolenko. To know what everyone, he slips over. I tell you what, we're riding our lot today, guys. Last minute and a half, I'd say, and Martin's gone down injured. 
our goalkeeper, our third goalkeeper. I think we used all our subs as well. Never do it easy, do we? game that was it was Southampton nil West Ham United won and I'm so pleased that I am telling you that result West Ham United have actually recorded another win thank god I think we've been needing it as well um especially how things have been I think this was such a big game probably our biggest game of the season we needed to win this and we did thank god that pushes us six points clear of the relegation zone currently um and we're not looking too bad at the moment so hopefully you know we can keep this cup of form going and yeah to be honest with you, I thought we, in the first half, it was all West Ham. I thought that, I'm, I'm surprised we weren't about 2 or 3 nil up. Um, I think we just missed so many good opportunities, which was really frustrating. I think it's the only thing I'd critique our performance on today. Just missing good opportunities and that can come back to bite us later. Um, I just think with a better striker, we would be scoring so much. Um, but then again, I'm not going criti to criticise Haller too much because I think he had a really, really good game. Same as Antonio, I think his goal was really unlucky to be counted off. But either way, though, um, I'm quite happy overall with today's performance. I'm a little bit angry with VAR. I do feel that should have been a penalty to us, looking over the highlights now. I'm not really sure how we didn't get that, um, but it is what it is. It would have been nice for Noble put that in the net for us and get a 2-0 lead. But um, I think it was a fair result. If Southampton had got an equaliser, I do feel like it would have been unfair. I felt in that second half, when we had VAR rule out Antonio's goal, I really felt that sort of spurred Southampton on to try and uh, get a goal. And it, you know, it felt a lot more tense, the game. And um, I thought the goal they had disallowed as well. What a banger and what a rocket that was. It was quite lucky that that was uh, disallowed. But um, I'm not going to complain, though. We've got the three points. we move on. We were meant to have Liverpool next weekend at home, but obviously it's been postponed because they're in the something World Club World Cup competition, something like that, or something else. I can't remember what it is. Either way, we don't have football next weekend, but in a few weeks' time, I think we have Palace, then we have Leicester. Um, so some really, really tough games coming up as well, especially how Leicester have been this season and how Palace are away. I can't see it being easy games as well. So hopefully we can just, you know, try to keep it together. We have a bit more time, you know, to rest, you know, look over it in training um, and hopefully get the best out of our players to get those results. And now I know there's a big question going about and I've already been messaged on Instagram saying, how do you feel about Pellegrini now? I still want the man sacked. I'm sorry, I do. And I don't mean to be like this little burden on it, but like, I, it doesn't it doesn't cover up. It just papers over the cracks. Like, for me, the damage is already done. We need that new manager in now. And I think this would be the best time for Bellegrini to leave after such a good win. 
Um, I just feel like, as much as I do feel it was a fair result that we did win that, I think if Southampton had someone like Aguero up front or Leroy Sane, I'm guaranteeing you that would not have been a 1-0 to West Ham. It would probably be a 2-1 or a 1-0 to Southampton. Honestly, it's just, for me, it's still not good enough. And I'm happy where we are. I'm pleased we got the win. But you've got to see this realistically. This is one game, including the, this is the one game, including Chelsea, that we've done well in. And I think that's because the other side's probably poorer than us on the day. And that's just how I see it. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd love to hear what your opinions are of the game below. Southampton fans, West Ham fans, do you think that was a fair result? Or do you think that West Ham got incredibly lucky? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it below. And yeah, let's get to it. And Merry Christmas, you guys. I believe the next game uh, that I can put on this channel is after Christmas with Crystal Palace away on Boxing Day. I look forward to it. And I'll see you all then. See you soon. Whew.